One soon-to-be free agent offensive lineman loves Joe Burrow, recently praised Joe Burrow. And I'm here to tell you why he's the perfect fit for the Bengals in free agency. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Erpine of AllBengals.com. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and get to RivertownInquiry.com so you can get the CBT hat, the dad hat, the rope hat, also some more Rivertown swag. This crew neck, well, it's going to keep you nice and warm uh, this winter, even though the weather pretty good today. So check them out at RivertownInquiry.com. And also check out Enter the Jungle, by the way. It aired this week, and it's airing weekly on Valley Sports right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk every Tuesday at 8 Eastern. Let's get into Jermaine Illuminor because Jermaine Illuminor is someone that you could have pointed to two months ago and said, yeah, if Jonah Williams walks, that's an interesting target in free agency for the Bengals. Proven right tackle, shouldn't break the bank, and over the past week or two, it makes even more sense given what Jermaine Illuminor has done and said on social media. Let's get to the latest comment because there has been this weird dialogue about Joe Burrow, that Joe Burrow isn't a great quarterback, isn't one of the top quarterbacks. And Jermaine Illuminor, like probably you, mo like most people that understand NFL football, they disagree and he disagrees. He said, people keep hating when honestly Burrow and Mahomes are the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Also, he completely turned that franchise around. But I guess when you're nice AF, People forget about the bad times. Also, the whole system quarterback thing is stupid. Stop it. So, Jermaine Illuminor defending Joe Burrow. Why would he do that? Channeling my inner Brian Windhorst. Not a great impression, but I'll do it again anyways. Why, why would he do, do that? that? Especially on the heels of making comments that, yeah, he beat the Chiefs as a member of the Raiders last year, but wants to beat the Chiefs when it matters. Joe Burrow is the only active quarterback and... There's only two quarterbacks that have beaten the Chiefs when it matters in the postseason. One, Joe Burrow, the other, Tom Brady. Tom Brady retired, Joe Burrow still around. The Bengals potentially need a right tackle with Jonah Williams getting paid in free agency. Match made in heaven, right? Maybe. Let's continue. Because you're wondering now, if, especially if you didn't know who Jermaine Illuminor is, and this is Cincinnati Bengals talk. I'm not expecting you to know exactly what the Las Vegas Raiders are trotting out there on the offensive line each and every week. I think Jermaine Illuminor is the perfect free agent solution for the Bengals because he's not going to break the bank. He's projected to get roughly $7 million per year, according to PFF, two years, $7.25 million average per year. Sign me up for that. If you can get someone like that, a 29-year-old uh, who uh, will turn 30 next season, I get that, but has proven tackle experience, is... In the mid-tier, so in 2022, if you'd look at the PFF numbers, and that is just one metric, but he had a 75.3 overall grade, 21st tackle in the NFL, according to PFF, and then was the 36th tackle this past year with a 68.5 overall grade. Look, he's a solid starting tackle, but he won't cost so much that he would prevent you from taking an offensive tackle with the 18th pick. And I think that's where the Bengals need to be. And some may say, oh, it doesn't matter what you do in free agency. You still have to be open to, at tackle. And I agree. But if you go out and you spend huge money on, on Michael and Wenu, for example, and you're paying him $13 million a year, and then you draft a tackle at 18, well, the Bengals won't look at it that way. We'll say, all right, we have our two tackles. We're paying big money for them. And then Wenu and Orlando Brown Jr. Here, Jermaine Illuminor has position flex. He's played left tackle. He's played guard before. He's someone that has certainly excelled at right tackle recently and is playing the best ball of his career. He clearly has flirted with the Bengals and, and Joe Burrow and I think likes the idea of coming to Cincinnati. And he won't prevent you from taking one of these top tackles if one of the top tackles is available at 18. But what he will do is he'll open up your draft board so you don't have to get stuck with a tackle. Because if you have a second round grade on a tackle or there's an offensive tackle that's the 28th player on your board, and then there's Brock Bowers is there, let's just say, and he's the 10th player on your board. Well, you want to be able to take Brock Bowers, or you want to be able to take Kool-Aid McKinstry if you feel really good about the corner out of Alabama, or you want to be uh, comfortable taking uh, Mitchell from Toledo, the, the cornerback as well. Like any of these guys, 
that could be there. Uh, Jackson Powers Johnson, I talked about him a little bit on Enter the Jungle. You want to be able to take that guy and, and not have to, to reach at offensive tackle. Or, and I get it because a lot of people are thinking defensive tackle, that too. Jerzon Newton is there. It's much easier if you don't have a glaring hole at right tackle. And so this is what Jermaine Illuminar would bring. Competent starter, doesn't have to start, position flex. Worst case, he increases your depth and, and is someone that can play either tackle spot. Best case, he comes here and he balls out, uh, you know, and, and he opens up your draft board. And, and I, I think that's exactly what you want. Now, you still may want to tackle at 18. That's fine. I think this is the path for that. Jermaine Illuminor, two years, sign me up. That would align him with an Alex Kappa as far as contracts go. And it would give the, the Bengals some stability at a spot that has been a revolving door. Riley Reef, then Riley Reef gets hurt. And then it was Lyle Collins, the bodyguard, and that didn't work out. And, and now Jonah Williams, and I think Jonah Williams is poised to get at least double what Jermaine Illuminor got in free agent or is projected to get in free agency. I think Jonah will get 14 plus million dollars a year. This is a way to get a value player that can help you and can help you in multiple spots. If you draft a, a starting tackle, and if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You can still protect Joe Burrow. And it's a pretty good run blocker. I think him and Kappa would be pretty darn good in the run game together. So we'll see, but it makes a lot of sense. Free agency just over a month away. We're going to have you covered right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. And later this month, we are going to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. We will have you covered there as well. And of course, if there's any news, we have you covered. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine. Thank you so much for watching CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.